currently we are operating around 6800 buses with us and uh, around 5600 schedules on a daily basis so we have a footfall of around uh, 30 lakh passengers on a daily basis which is uh, almost uh, six times the uh, footfall of a metro right now uh, we can proudly say that this is the lifeline of bangalore where mostly the middle class lower middle class and the lower class strata of people travel right now even through the buses we efficiently uh, transport more than 30 lakh passengers across bangalore city uh, from nook and corners of the city to other nook and corners and uh, if you see the other private vehicle private ownership data there are more than 1 crore uh, vehicles in the road of bangalore right now which hardly transports say uh, another 30 lakh passengers so uh, we have a 6000 bus uh, to a 1 crore vehicle population where there is no match or no figure which says that it is because of bangalore's buses that traffic is created even in bangalore when you have multimodal Uh, uh you know uh, public transport system now uh, uh buses still have a huge role to play um, not just provide end to end connectivity but also to provide uh, feeder services to public transport so it can complement the higher order public transport system uh, but at the same time it can also provide door to door service it is also a economical and cheaper option for lot of low income family uh, people to travel so it also has a equity aspect associated with it right now the trend is technology can give you solutions uh, definitely with respect to uh, bangalore traffic yes technology is the only way which can which can provide us the solution uh, with uh, lots of machine learning and artificial intelligence coming in uh, we have lots of uh, historic data lots of legacy data which we have with us which will be helpful in uh, predicting a proper uh, estimated time of arrival or a or a proper uh, algorithm which will help us to enable uh, to find out the uh, the right time on which a bus arrives or a, where the bus is we have recently launched an application called uh, namma bmtc uh, this application is a, a passenger information application uh, which will enable a common man a citizen Uh, to understand the bus schedules to understand the uh, bus routes to understand the bus stops and all the infrastructure related to uh, public buses so uh, this application was developed as a part of the nibaya scheme uh, which is the central government's uh, scheme for women safety basically which will enable the women of uh, 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 bangalore and also uh, people who come to bangalore being a cosmopolitan city enable the public transportation information on their fingertips having a smart app which has a uh, number of features uh, right from real time tracking to trip planning to identifying nearest bus stop to identifying routes to identifying optimum you know travel plan etc all these are, are definitely important um, as a important component of passenger information system but it's not the end in itself it's not uh, so, you know a complete solution it only adds to several other things that we need to do and this application will also serve uh, in future as a uh, afcs the fare collection based application also where the mobile ticketing and mobile passes and uh, all other uh, wallets will come in and uh, it will it will be a major uh, game changer with respect to even buying of tickets and traveling in a bus with a, a digital wallet unfortunately bmtc is one of the costliest services in the country uh, when compared to other uh, city services like uh, delhi or chennai or mumbai uh, so uh, probably governments are uh, taking steps to reduce this aspect of affordability and definitely we will achieve that but the service conditions should always improve when when affordability reduces so there is no uh, direct correlation with this so services is something which is different and affordability is something which is very different because urban transportation urban public transportation is something which is to be considered as a service and it is not a uh, profit oriented business um, public transport occupies uh, much lesser space compared to any personal mobility vehicle car two wheeler etc to carry one passenger plus public transport emits uh, much lesser tailpipe emissions per passenger they carry okay so these are two fundamental benefits 
we are all talking about uh, global warming and uh, carbon emissions so uh, public transportation is something which is right there in front of our eyes which is which is a solution which can help us in uh, curtailing this and uh, vehicular pollution and vehicular emissions are two major factors which are affecting our uh, environment and vehicular emissions per se is very very uh, dangerous with respect to emissions of nitrous oxide or even carbon dioxide so uh, this will definitely give us a good uh, atmosphere or environment to live in if we really uh, improve upon the private uh, pu public transportation and leave our private vehicles on an occasion